more miraculous what happened to videos that I've done is Stedman Bates. Now, if you don't know the story, a few years after being drafted into the NFL, Stedman, his cousin, and two small kids were in a vehicle that was attacked and shot up. Vehicle was shot up multiple times hitting Stedman and his cousin. Fortunately, the kids were unharmed. Crazy thing about it, the whole thing has been chalked up to mistaken identity. If that's true, you talking about wrong place, wrong time. Dang. Now, Stedman took multiple bullets, including one to the head, effectively ending his NFL career. But he was fortunate in that it did not end his life. Stedman and his cousin were actually able to drive themselves to the hospital and get help and able to make a relatively quick recovery. Now, if you want to watch the full video with all the details, I'm going to have a card popping up on the screen at the end of this video. You can click over and go and watch that whole thing. But I wanted to do an update here because in that video, I said, we all know what takes place on a football field and... I know it sucks, but it's hard to imagine him being able to play football again. I mean, one bad hit could be fatal, and it's... But it seems like I was wrong. And this is one of them times where I'm glad to be wrong, you know what I'm saying? You never want to see somebody's career be taken from them prematurely, especially when it's not due to any fault of their own. Contrary to my previous prediction, it seems like doctors have cleared Stedman to play. But there's one more huge hurdle he will have to get over before getting back into the league. Here's a quote. My doctors say I can play, but it'll be up to teams to clear me, which I'll be looking at this offseason. Now, Stedman's had workouts with his boy, Tavon Austin. He's also worked out with Antonio Brown and other pros. He's gotten great reviews from them, and he feels he's ready to make a return to the NFL physically. He also says he's running a 4-4-40, which is actually the same time he ran coming out of college. So he just turned 27 last month. So that's possible. I don't know how likely that is, but it is definitely possible. Stedman says he's looking forward to working out for teams, and he's confident that once they see him in person and see him move and see how good he looks, he'll be good from there. I actually take a ton of inspiration from this dude's positive outlook, bro. After going through what he's gone through, to still come back and have such a positive attitude about this is pretty damn amazing. If he can actually make an NFL comeback, he'll serve as an inspiration to so many people on so many levels, bro. With that being said, it's gonna be very tough, man, with the NFL paying more and more attention to all his head trauma and concussions and everything like that. I'm not sure a team is gonna wanna jump out there and take on that risk that's associated with it. As far as Stedman goes, man, it's a tough call. And if I was in his shoes, I'm not 100% sure I would make the same move, but at the same time, I 100% understand it. I mean, this dude dedicated a huge chunk of his life to football. It was taken from him, and now he's been given an opportunity to reclaim what was taken. Like, who wouldn't want that? I don't know, bro. It's a tricky situation, y'all. Let me know in the comment section. Like, what do y'all think? What would you do in this situation and why? Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're brand new. Like and share the video. Stay me. We wish you the best, bro. My name is Flim Low Rats. I'll at you next time.